Hey guys, Brian the Cell Phone Guy here again. Last week we had a video called how to back up your iPhone to iCloud. And in this video we're gonna take a look at transferring the data from iCloud onto your new Samsung smartphone using Samsung Smart Switch. So for purposes of this demonstration, we have my previous phone, which is an iPhone 5S, and we have my new phone, which is a Samsung Galaxy Note 5. So we're going to take the information that we backed up into iCloud and we're going to transfer it onto the Samsung using Smart Switch. Now one of the beauties of this is that you don't actually need to have the iPhone because we're not transferring the data from the phone to the Samsung. We're actually doing a uh, retrieval of the backup that we did to the cloud. So step one is to open Smart Switch in the app. And in this section we're going to choose the wireless transfer method and then we want the Samsung to receive the data and the old device we're going to choose iOS. Now at this point we need to put in the Apple ID and the password that we used to create the backup so stand by one sec while I do that. So now that we've entered the uh, Apple ID and the password this is the next screen that comes up. Now we want to make sure that up in the top here it says import from iCloud and we can either select all or we can choose individually which things we want to import. And then once we've made our selection, you just hit the import tab. And now this is going to take a significant amount of time. So we're going to pause the camera and come back when this is finished. So now that the basic information has uh, finished downloading, this is the step where you can choose other things such as images, videos, documents, and messages. So if you want to do more, you'd hit continue. And if you wanted to stop now, you would hit done. Let's hit continue. And again, we'll wait for this to finish and we'll be back. Now this screen is going to give us the uh, choice of downloading images, videos, voice memos, documents, and messages. So I've chosen images and videos, and then we're going to hit import. And again, we're going to wait patiently for this to happen. Now at this stage, because we're switching from iOS to Android as our operating system, this gives us a couple of choices. Now, the first one here is download and install apps. And what this is going to do is it's going to give you the Android version of any iOS apps you have. The second choice is going to give you the opportunity to download the MOV player and what that's going to do is it's going to download a player that will um, play videos that recorded with iOS. And the third one is to dis disable iMessage. Uh, if you're switching from iOS to Samsung, you're going to want to start sending your text messages as SMS and not as MMS. Now I'm just going to leave this the way it is now, so we're going to close the app. And that concludes the transfer. Now one of the neat things about this program is it also downloads things like the screensaver. So if we look at uh, the wallpaper on my iPhone, you'll see that it's been copied across onto the Samsung. And if we go into the gallery, we'll see that the pictures have been transferred. And if we go into contacts, we'll see that the contacts have been transferred. Samsung Smart Switch is probably the best app I've ever found for transferring data. Unfortunately, it only works when you're using a Samsung phone. Uh, and once you've done this process, now you need to begin backing things up to your Samsung account so that you can transfer stuff uh, going forward to your next Android phone. So that's it in a nutshell. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, hit the like button and also hit the subscribe button. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to reach out to me in the comment section and I will respond. Uh, once again, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.